bats. These are wonderful critters, but they're often misunderstood and sometimes demonized. I'm here at the UF Bat House that houses about 300 to 400,000 bats. Now, what do bats do? Well, I think they're wonderful critters to look at, but they fly out every e evening eating millions and millions of insects, and some of these insects are pests to agriculture. Now, in this bat house, there are about three different species of bats, a Brazilian free-tail bat, a brown bat, and an evening bat. In the U.S., there's about 40 species of bats, and worldwide, there are hundreds of other species. Let's go check out some. This majestic bat is the Malaysian flying fox. Now, you won't find these in Florida, but we're here at the Luby Bat Conservancy, and I'm with uh, the director, Brian Pope, and he's going to tell us more about these bats. Yeah, this is a Malayan flying fox from Southeast Asia. We have about 60 of them here at Luby Bat Conservancy, and we are an international nonprofit organization dedicated to saving bats and their habitats through research, conservation, and education with a focus on community engagement. And why these bats are so important and why Luby is here is because they are not only essential to the ecosystem for seed dispersal, but for pollination. And in certain areas in tropical forests, these guys are responsible for 95% of the regrowth of the forest. So from an ecosystem value, these bats are invaluable for seed dispersal and pollination. Here in the U.S., most of our bats are insectivorous, and they eat a lot of insects, and they're a natural pest control. Now, in this bat house here, there's about 200,000 bats getting ready to fly out and span the Gainesville area looking for insects. Now, you may have heard some of the myths about bats, that they fly in your hair, or there's vampire bats. Both are not true. They readily avoid you, they have good echolocation, and actually can see. And the vampire bats don't occur in the U.S., they occur in South America, and those only really, you know, nick cows looking for blood. Now, if you want to help bats, build some bat houses. There's not many areas in cities for bats to live. And if you do see a bat on the ground or on the wall, don't pick it up because they can bite you. And about half percent to one percent of the bats do carry rabies, so be careful. If you see such a bat, call Florida Wildlife Care or Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. For more information about bats, visit Solutions for Your Life.